Hi everyone, I've just woken up. Um, this is my living room. Not too bad. I notice that looks a bit dodgy. <laughs> I promise you it's just one of Sophia's dollies. So she got this for her birthday and it's already looking a bit worse for wear. Um, yeah, so I've got to go to the shop. I need to get toilet rolls. I'm going to see what I can get off my shopping list. Um, and then I'm going to come back, give this a tidy. Or I might give it a quick tidy before because it's not much. And then I'm going to just move on to the kitchen. Kitchen's not too bad, I think. Let's have a little look at the kitchen. So, so this is the kitchen. Just a quick little wipe of the worktops. Wash up the dinner things from yesterday. And then I think that's it. I've got to wash my partner's rugby stuff in there. He went to rugby training yesterday. Apparently... His trousers are caked in mud because it was raining, so that would be nice. So I think I'm just going to just wash that one thing or a couple of things. I think there's a towel in there as well. A towel and jogging bottoms. I'm just going to wash by themselves. I should have done it last night, but I don't think... What time did he come in? I don't know. I, I want to say it was gone eight, and I thought I'm not putting a wash on now, so I'm going to do it now. And then I've got this pile of laundry to fold up and put away. So hopefully that won't take too long, but it's not looking too bad today. It's been worse. I did do a bit of a tidy up and a, did a little bit of washing last night, um, washing up last night. So it's just um, stuff from my partner's dinner when he come in, we had to get one nays. So I washed everything up and then when he come in, he put some pasta on to go with that. So I think it's been about two and a half hours since I filmed. Um, and in that time, I've tidied the living room. And I have tidied and cleaned the kitchen. And then I'll show you in a minute what happened when I took my partner's... Um, what do I want to call it? Rugby kit out. So that happened when I took my partner's rugby gear out that bag. So I hadn't mopped the floor yet, but I had swept it. So now I've got a re-sweep and definitely mop. Um, I haven't even looked in the washing machine yet. It's only just stopped to see what the trousers look like, see if all the muds come out. Um, there's an offending rugby bag. It's disgusting and it's a bit of mud. I'm going to take any little bits out and put the mud in the bin in a minute. So, yeah, I need to sort that out. I've got a crossless quiche in the oven. And in a sec, I'll show you a little shopping haul. Because in them two and a half hours, I cleaned the kitchen, did the living room, went out and got a little bit of shopping what else did i do i replied to some of your comments thank you for commenting if you comment um i can't remember what else i did um so yeah i'll show you my little shopping haul and then i'm gonna sort out this mess check on the trousers sort out that and also where is it where did i put it look oh i had this sort of clean this has just arrived I think, I don't know what it is, well, I know what it is. So this is just right, my partner ordered, oh, I want to say Amazon, I'm going to guess it's Amazon, a new bin, because our bin, um, the lid broke, and if you've got toddlers, babies, you know what I mean, you need a lid. If you've got nappies, any bits of like old food from dinners, you need a lid. So I've got a new bin here with a lid. My partner surprised me. Was it last night or not before said I've ordered a new bin and also a laundry, a, a laundry, I don't know if you call it a basket, or a laundry thing that I've been wanting for ages. So that hasn't arrived yet. I'll show you that when it does and when and if it does. Um, and so I'm going to do all them things I said and then get this bin out of the bag. 
Here's some bits I just got from the co-op. I did get a pepper for 46p that was reduced as well. And um, what else did I get? I got some mushrooms for a pound for, for a crossless quiche. That's why I've got these. They're actually empty now. I've just made it. It's in the oven. But I want you to see what I got. So these eggs were 150 or 155 and I needed all of them so they're all gone now <laughs> I got this low fat cottage cheese for 131 it should have been 175 these carrots they were 150 were they one? no what am I saying 150 they were 50p sorry they were 50p and then because I want to do like a chicken curry or chicken thing in the slow cooker. I think I'm going to go with curry so I can buy less ingredients. I saw this turkey in there and I thought I'm going to use this, chop it up and put, make a curry with it one night. And then I was going to get some bananas for Sophia. But they all looked a bit, well they didn't look great. So I picked up these apples for a change. 144 instead of 195 so that's what I got in the co-op and I'll just and I'll get out my other bag now for the stuff I got from the little cheap shop by me so this is some stuff I got from the little cheap shop by me so we're out of toilet rolls these are 349 they have crept up a little bit since the shop opened um I don't know why we go for a lot of toilet rolls I feel like we go for a pack of these a week or about that I've got some more cleaning cloths because I think these are better than the ones I got from Poundland. These are 129. They just feel, I don't know, they're a bit better, I think. I got some more of this because I bought some and it did a great job on my toilet. And I got some just normal shower gel because my son's got a bit of sensitive skin, so hopefully this one's okay. This was a pound, and this, as you can see, it's quite a big bottle. It's almost the same size as, you know, like a normal bleach type bottle. And I've got work later on tonight. Um, so that's my drink for work. And then now I've got to take care of the rest of the kitchen from that muddy mess. So here I'm just getting everything out of my partner's bag. Oh, and look at the state of them. Rugby shoes. And then when I was emptying it I didn't realize how bad condition his bag was all the linings ripped and there's loads of mud in there if I'd known these his bag was like that I would have got him one for like Valentine's Day or his birthday or something I know it's not a very exciting present but that bag is just disgusting so I just put his rugby shoes in the bag and then put everything back in and just put it to one side. And I started sweeping the mud up. So I already swept this floor once. So I swept it again when all that mud came out. Um, his rugby stuff. My partner was laughing at me the other day because I'd rather sweep the kitchen floor than hoover it. I don't know why. I've just got a thing that hard floors, I prefer to sweep them than hoover them. I don't know. I don't know why I do it, but I just prefer sweeping them. And then I use my flash mop just to quickly give it a mop. I hate this area by the dry where the cat food is. It's just, I have to scrub it a bit harder just because of the cat food that um, comes out onto the floor. I have tried like trays and that before underneath it, but then you just got to clean the tray as well. So you might as well just clean the floor. So that is it, the, f the floor is swept again and mopped and then it was time to fold it all that washing on top of the dryer. So I did add to this pile of um, dry washing so I've got even more to put away now so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna chuck it on the kitchen counter and fold it up. I'm gonna check on the crossless quiche in a minute, they weren't quite ready a few minutes ago but should be ready in a minute. And I'm just going to put these dishes away, but as you can see, lovely and clear. Just mop the floor and look, 
because it's still wet and I've been walking in it with my shoes. I'm going to have to remop it. Great, I'm, I think I'm going to take my shoes off in a minute, maybe. So here I was just drying what was wet, but most of it was dry still. And then I just put like cutlery away, cups and plates away. Wasn't really much to do because I've been trying to keep up with it. And then I need to clear these worktops. They're just so cluttered at the minute with stuff. I don't know why I haven't put the Play-Doh away or them cups away that I've got her. But that was the washing up taken care of. And then the worktops are all nice and clear. Well, as clear as they're going to get with all that junk on them. I really need to sort through that stuff. Like, half of it probably doesn't need to be there. Then I've got all the washing from on top of the dry and just chucked it on the worktop. Ready to sort through, ready to fold. And then once it was folded, I just took it through to each of the rooms. I actually took my son's stuff through and gave it to him and he just chucked it on his bed. So that was a bit pointless. I should have just grabbed his things and gave them to him instead of just folding them. But he doesn't have like hanging storage for his clothes it's all folded so i thought i was doing him a favor but obviously not and then it, it was just a few bits of sophia's i had lots of towels i don't know tea towels i had about four of them everyone uses like 100 t tea towels at once for some reason and then like i said i took it off to each of the bedrooms and then i pull it straight away i didn't want it hanging about cause sometimes i just leave it on the bed or put it in them um, all the washing light that goes in my bedroom folded up in a bag or the wash basket or something and then it just stays there for a couple of days and then all the socks that came out of that dryer were odd there was not one set of socks and one had a hole in it so I ended up chucking it so we've got loads of socks even if we can't find them we don't need ones with holes in and I don't know where the matching socks were just disappeared so that's all the washing folded so here's the crossless quiches how they turned out so all you need for these really is six eggs and a tub of cottage cheese and i put mushrooms and peppers in put a bit of garlic in with the mushrooms and peppers and added it to the egg and the cottage cheese i will leave the recipe link down below um because i have made this once before but i have made it twice i made it with bacon in after i made it like this but i prefer it with like veggies in but let me know what you think if you try it i really love this right i've got to go and put that washing away and then let these cool down a bit and then i can have some for a late lunch early dinner i've got to be at work for four today earlier um and it's quarter to three don't know if you can see that was it quarter to two no it's quarter to three so i've got to get my lift in less than an hour so i'm gonna put that washing away um and eat these up eat these up eat some of this up i can't eat all of these so this was the bin my partner got me nice well i say little it's not a little bin uh again i'm gonna guess he's got it from amazon so that's his favorite place and it'd be nice not to smell disgusting food or nappies so that is that and then let's see what condition if i can get to them his trousers were that he wore yesterday i want to see if the mud came off I can only see one leg, but that was caked in mud. Oh, is that a little bit of mud stuck there? I reckon. It's got a bit of grass stuck to it still. I reckon they've come out all right. And if they haven't, I'm just going to stick them in one more time and it should do the trick. But I think that has done the job. Oh. So right, I'm gonna clean this floor one last time. I'm not doing it again today. And then I'm gonna eat and then sit down for a few minutes before I gotta go to work. So I'm gonna end the video here. 
thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it it's a bit of a higgledy piggledy video i didn't know where i was going when i started the video today and i was uploading another video that's like 20 minutes long so when i started filming it just took the uploading back to zero when it was already started so i was a bit annoyed so i stopped filming that's why i didn't film for two and a half hours but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you soon thank you for watching